Hello, Hello travel mates. mates. How are you doing? Welcome back to our channel. Today we are in Koh Samui, the second biggest island in Thailand. And we are going to be here for the next few days. So today is our first day in the island. We're gonna go outside, explore, see what we find near our Airbnb. So let's go. <music> On the way, we didn't expect to find this temple. It's the temple of Rachatamaran. 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 The pronunciation is a little bit tricky here. We're gonna check it and continue our journey. This temple is also known as Wat Sigla Ngu, meaning stone snake in English. And you can actually see many stone carved snakes around this whole site. This is not a very old temple, in fact, it was recently built. What makes this temple so interesting is that it's made with red clay. I think I've never seen any temple like this in Thailand, so unique. This reminds me of some of the temples we saw in India. Yeah, when we are traveling in Hampi and Padani. But this is a Buddhist temple, not Hindi temple. It is a Hindi. Buddhist temple, yes, that's right. The interesting part of this temple is the terracotta used on the walls and roof of the building. You can see very detailed and elaborate designs of epic scenes, like sea demons coming out of the waves, some big fish eating someone, warriors of the ape god Hanuman, Apsara dancers, and much more. Yeah, it's not just paintings, it's kind of, everything is 3D. Everything is red color, but if you see the Buddha, it's the golden Buddha. So, it, so the Buddha it stands out in this hall. We could spend a long time admiring the details of each wall, but we also wanted to check the outside. The intense red color looks just amazing in contrast with the blue sky. Okay, we are done with the red clay temple, but uh, there's something more to see over the sea. Ah, uh, finally, we didn't see an elephant, Ganesha. It looks like a temple over the cliff with ocean views. So let's go and take a look to that. Look at it, wow, the details of that. We have to confess, we didn't expect this temple would be this beautiful. We feel special attraction to temples by the sea, and this one with these views and all the snakes and ornaments was especially beautiful. Instead of rushing to the next spot, we stayed and soaked up that whole atmosphere. We had been away from Asia for too long, and this visit reminded us all the adventures and travels from our first years around Vietnam, Cambodia and Laos when we started this channel. I don't know if these are like bungalows, looks like, like some kind of accommodation, some people staying over there. Nice spot! And then we have a few more of the uh, stupas, right? I don't know why there's so many roosters here. Some Ganesha as well, but mostly roosters. I just realized that I didn't put my sun cream on today. <laughs> it's super, super hot. So if you guys are coming here for shooting or for enjoying whatever, 
just make sure to put your sun cream on it's extremely extremely hot i'm sweating so much right now but at least it's near the near the beach near the sea so you get the wind sometimes but still it's really really hot outside this is nice and everything but <laughs> it's so freaking hot man i need some water so the temple is right behind me and then if you go straight that way i think that's the lamai beach the second most popular beach but i'm not sure if you can continue walking it seems like it's a block road but i see some people there like swimming or something so maybe we could continue there but we have a motorbike parked right outside so we're gonna take the motorbike and go to lamai beach Riding a motorbike around Koh Samui is such a pleasant experience. There is not much traffic and the roads are in pretty good condition. When you are not passing beautiful temples, you are surrounded by lush green hills or enjoying some sea views with turquoise waters from these scenic roads. Riding around Thailand in general is quite the experience and we recommend you to try it. At least on the islands where the traffic is more relaxed and the views are rewarding. You can rent a scooter starting from 250 Thai baht per day and even if you don't plan to go too far, the views and roads are spectacular. As we approached Lamai Beach, we could notice how touristy is the whole area. The few streets between the main road and the beach itself are full of restaurants, bars, hotels and other business like massage parlors and tattoo studios. Many of them still closed due to the low business from the COVID times, but more and more opening, especially as you get closer to the beach. So we have arrived in Lamai Beach, the second most popular beach in Koh Samui. They say the Cheongmun Beach is the biggest one and it's the crowded and kind of luxury resort. And this one is more relaxed and chill, uh, which is something that we like more. So let's go and check it out. <laughs> Here we have a combination of the last few festivities, Christmas tree and rabbit for the uh, Lunar New Year. On the way here, we passed a lot of uh, shacks and bars and restaurants. It's like, a, you can see it's kind of a touristy spot. Might be very active at night. We haven't checked at night yet, but it looks like that kind of area where the things happen. As you can expect in this kind of location, there are plenty of water activities, from jet ski to flyboard, paddleboard, parasailing, banana boat, and all you can imagine. The prices go from 500 Thai baht to 4000 baht, and the activities usually go from 10 minutes to 1 hour. But depending on the condition of the waves, you might just want to chill on a sunbed and enjoy some swimming and a snack or drinks under the coconut trees. We are walking around, just uh, go straight to find some spot, some shadow spot to put our stuff. But just all the resorts are just lined up. We cannot find any spot for the shadow to put our stuff. So I don't know, I feel a bit lost, but the view is still amazing. The view is still so beautiful. Plus the sun is actually up there. So really low chances to get some shadow on the beach. But still, this beach is Lamae Coconut Beach and there's a bunch of coconut trees, so maybe we are lucky. Maybe we can find some coconut tree shadow. Oh, right there. Where? Uh, maybe we can try that. Any good places to eat? Uh, you never know, because sometimes Google are not that updated, so... But yeah, it, it's helpful. At least we found a few places that we're gonna see if they are open or not, because you never know. Sometimes on Google Maps, there's just a picture of the road and there's no restaurant. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. 
smells so good. It smells so good. Our next stop of the day is a viewpoint. Samui Ring Road has a few of these viewpoints. This one is called Elephant Rock, and it's basically a little hike in the woods leading to a higher point with great views of the east coast of the island. I gotta say, after the food we had, we were not prepared for this steep path. Oh my god. This is very steep, man. But it's not very long. Down. Go! Don't step on leaves. Oh this is mega steep. I'm not sure, Shorty, really. Coming down, I feel very scared. Let's not you just, go up. No, you just need to put your... like this. Horizontally. <laughs> it's a bit crazy. Can't imagine coming here with a bike. Or bicycle. Or even car, maybe. But apparently, it's a good views. So, let's see. Oh, I think I see it. What? Man. I think Elephant Rock is this one here. No? That's the restaurant where we... I don't know, all these restaurants have like viewpoints, kind of. Look at the color of the water over there. Oh my god! So wonderful! This was nice, but it's time to go down and... Hekyung is really scared. Super scared. Because this is a really, really steep path. Very I mean, look at this. Very I'm gonna be just lying down. And no, then you're gonna scratch your ass. No, put your feet like this. Parallel, you know? I'm not sure if that's it. And don't step on leaves. Yeah. No big step. Slowly, slowly. Ah, uh, you're scared, but it's fine, I think. I wanna fall here. I'm not sure it was worth all this trouble. <laughs> On the way to our next spot, we found one of the things that we like the most. Fresh market. If you have been following our channel for a while, you know how much we like food and trying dishes from different countries. For that, visiting a fresh food market in Southeast Asia is quite an experience. The mix of colors and smells make us drool every time we go to these kind of markets. Koh Samui has many fresh food markets, and this one, even though it's not a big one and it's a bit on the touristy side, it's not a bad one. You can find some grilled meats, sushi and more grocery like plenty of vegetables, fruits and fresh fish and seafood. This market also has a few tables like a food court to grab some food or drink and have it right there. This place seems like a really good place if you want some local food with a cheap price and if you want a real quick and easy food to, you know, if you are hungry. This seems like a really, really good place. Yeah, it smells really nice. Even even after we had lunch just an hour ago, I feel like I want to eat another lunch. There's 
even like take out food, like prepared food, like, yeah. like different curries. We tried to avoid drinking many Thai tea, but we just saw the woman just pouring one whole Thai tea, and then it looks so nice. We're gonna get one. One Thai tea. Yeah, yeah. People come here on Valentine's Day. See, I love you. Valentine's Day. Two people here. It looks like a two people. It's a typical. No, no, we just made it up. So we came here to the Lamai viewpoint. We paid a hundred baht for the entrance, just for walking. But there's other options like a cable car two way that is two hundred, and then there's a zip line that you can take or. Some options. We're gonna take the stairs. They said it's gonna be a 10 minutes hike stairs mostly. So let's see. Hopefully we reach the top before the sunset. Although they told us we're not gonna see the sun. We're gonna see more the horizon and the colors, whatever. But the sun is on the other side. They told us from here what you can see is the sunrise from the sea. Yeah, but it's a nice hike. Yeah, we're not tired yet. Well, honestly, a little bit. Don't give up before sunset. Come on. Yeah. Never give up. Yay! You did it. Yeah, there's a big point here. So this is the cable car. I don't. No, 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 no. I'm just yeah, okay. arriving. Nice. Many people take this. Three people. Three people. Ooh. Is it fast? Yeah. yeah. Nice views here. Oh my god, beautiful. We're going to the viewpoint now. See you. Okay, we're going to the viewpoint. There's some music, so we're gonna try to avoid the copyright strike, right? Apparently, yeah, it's a happy place. Look at this, different levels. Okay, another level here. Oh my god. <laughs> Amazing. Look at this. Hey, That's a happy face rock. This? So here there is this zip line that goes. I don't know what. Oh my god. Check all the way that it goes. Oh my god. <laughs> Look where it goes. Nice. Come on, we did this before. Yeah, we did it in Laos. Check our video of the Gibbon experience we did in Laos. It was three days living in the tallest three houses in the world, connected by zip lines. Check the video here. I wouldn't do that, it's very scary. Yeah, it was a bit scary, but come on. It's cool. So this is kind of a viewpoint. I hope I don't fall. Ooh la la. <gasps> Amazing. Check this out. Okay, we're gonna go to the viewpoint. Maybe have a drink or something. Hekim says this is a bit slippery. I don't know. It doesn't feel slippery. What level do you wanna be in? This no? Up here? Good. Even though the sunset can't be seen from this viewpoint, the views of the coast are worth the little hike up the hill, especially if you want to burn some of those noodles or rice calories. Uh, it's not cheap, but it's not super crazy. Fresh coconut for 100 is maybe the most expensive we've seen so far. Coconut ice cream 169, cocktails, some pizzas, and then some food menu. It's, you know, prices for uh, this kind of place. Maybe this is not the best viewpoint in the island of Koh Samui, 
but it offers some good photo spots and a peaceful landscape of the east coast. Anyway, since on this episode we were just exploring the area near our stay, it was good enough. So apparently, towards the end, they closed at 7, uh, you can use the cable car for free, they just told us. So let's go, it's very short so don't expect too much. <laughs> I don't <laughs> very dark. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, please make sure to subscribe to this channel. And if you're planning to visit Thailand anytime soon, please watch any of these videos. Might be useful for you. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.